For many West African slaves, this is where their journey across the Atlantic began, on the Ghanaian coast in Elmina, which means the mine. It was given the name by Portuguese traders. of their history and identity. Many come from the US, mostly as tourists, but some come to stay, like Avia Kalia and Marcus Taylor. Here in cramped dungeons, some would become forced laborers, others would die. Visitors lay wreaths of remembrance here, for many, it's a profoundly moving experience. I'm a history buff. And I know my history very well. But nothing about me knowing or studying has prepared me for this experience. I'm just totally off. This language wouldn't even sum it up for me to speak my, my mind, my heart, what I feel. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome. Thank you for sharing some of your time with us. We are honored. This is Majesty Sussex Report, and I'm Antonio. Thank you so much for the engagement and conversations that has, you know, been happening between the last few episodes. Thank you. Thank you for keeping it classy above all things, uh, because I know it's challenging sometimes, but listen, thank you for keeping it classy. Um, in today's episode, we go back to the past in order to connect the future. And we say a big thank you to Nigeria. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It takes a few seconds. Click on the thumb up emoji. That's to say you, you liked the content and your feedback and comments are welcome as long as it's not offensive, rude, uninformed, or bashful, or any of those things. This channel is in support of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry, and Princess Meghan. If you have an issue with me saying Princess Meghan, then this channel is not for you. Hateful and disparaging remarks will be deleted and not published. Okay? So, don't waste your time. Thank you so much. Let's get it on. Should I sing that actually? Let's get it on. I haven't done that in a while, eh? <laughs> okay, let's get it on. Today we delve into a profound and poignant chapter of human history. The transatlantic slave trade. Our journey not only traces the origins and operations of this dark era, but also celebrates the resilience and cultural integration of African heritage in the Americas and how modern technology, particularly DNA testing, is rekindling connections to lost ancestries. The transatlantic trade began in the mid 15th century when European colonizers turned to Africa as a source of labor and for their new world colonies. Nations like Portugal and Spain, followed by Britain, France, and the Netherlands, were deeply involved, setting the stage for a brutal period of human history that lasted over 400 years. African men, women, and children were forcibly taken from their homelands primarily from the West and Central Africa regions, areas known today as Angola, Nigeria, Ghana, the Ivory Coast, and the Democratic Republic of Congo.
The journey known as the Middle Passage was heroin, with conditions so dire that many did not survive. Those who did found themselves in foreign lands spread across the Americas and the Caribbean. The largest number of Africans were brought to Brazil, which remains home to the largest population of African descendant outside Africa. Others were scattered across the Caribbean islands, as well as to North America and parts of Spanish America, such as Colombia and Venezuela. Upon arrival, the identity of enslaved Africans were systematically erased. Names, languages, and personal histories were stripped away with the intent to disconnect them from their roots. Yet, despite this, remnants of African culture have endured and integrated into the fabric of various societies. In Brazil, for instance, the martial art of capoeira and the vibrant rhythms of samba traces their origins back to African practices. Similarly, in places like Colombia and Cuba, African music instruments and rhythms have heavily influenced local music and dance forms, such as cumbia and santeria. In recent years, advancements in DNA technology have sparked a significant turning point. DNA testing has enabled descendants of enslaved Africans to trace their lineage back to specific regions in Africa, often with surprising and moving results. This scientific breakthrough has not only provided individuals with a sense of identity and belonging, but has also helped reconstruct family histories that were thought to be lost forever. As we embrace these technological advancements and continue to uncover and integrate the lost chapters of our history, we foster a deeper understanding of the indomitable spirit of those who suffered yet persevered. Celebrating our diverse heritage and acknowledging our shared past is crucial. It allows us to appreciate the strength and resilience embedded in our cultures and encourages us to move forward with hope, respect, and solidarity. said I wouldn't give up I said I understand that I understand that but may I speak if these I said mm -hmm. I've heard that before too uh, but may I speak to you you see if they if they think they really got it wrong so I said I see that but when when was the last time anyone told you how important you are you're the best we have we need you desperately do you know that our people stood on auction blocks for you? Did you know we got up before sunrise and slept after sunset so that you could stay alive? You could be here this day. I put my arm around his waist and I just walked him down a little sort of decline. And I talked to him about our people. And she put her arms around him and she just walked him away. And they had their own private moment. You know, I don't know everything that was said, but it was phenomenal. Suddenly he started to cry. And, and I turned his back to, to uh, the crowd and just talked to him. I didn't have a Kleenex or handkerchief. I just took my hand and wiped his face. And when he had control of himself again, I continued to my trailer. Within two minutes, Miss Janet Jackson came to my trailer. 
She said, Dr. Angelo, I don't believe you actually spoke to Tupac Shakur. So I said, darling, I don't know six pack. She said, I didn't that. Thing. I had no idea who you are. She said, but he's a very famous rap. Star. I had no idea. Who the one and only Maya Angelou, mother. Oh gosh. She has a way, she has a way. You know, understanding our roots does more than just tell us where we are from. It connects us to the stories, struggles, and triumphs of our forebears, offering us a sense of identity and belonging in a vast interconnected world. It provides a narrative that enriches our lives, reminding us that we are part of a larger human saga that spawns generations and geographies. In a world that often feels fragmented, knowing our ancestry builds bridges across time and space. It fosters respect and appreciation for diversity as each of us carries a unique blend of historical backgrounds that shape who we are. By delving into our past, we learn not only about our ancestors, but also about ourselves, our strengths, our inherited talents, and sometimes our shared vulnerabilities. In understanding our origins, we are better equipped to build a compassionate society. It teaches us empathy as we recognize the hardships and joys experienced by those who came before us, helping us to connect more deeply within the experiences of others in our present. So, let us cherish and, and, and seek knowledge of our ancestry, not just to satisfy curiosity, but to forge a deeper connection with humanity and to enrich our collective future. In doing so, we honor our past, empower our present, and gift a legacy of understanding and respect to the generations that will follow.
Nobody ever said this would be easy But trust when I say that you got to know believe. you've been looking for a breakthrough Trying our best to make you Every day is something new But change don't come, oh yes it's true Brighter days are straight ahead Follow me, won't be misled Just look up, don't hang your head And we'll get to the hey. promised land Somebody loves you, please don't forget such Take your time, no need to we gon' shine somehow one day Word to O'Shea, today's been a good day Don't let one bad apple spoil the tree The fruits of our labor seem ripe, can't you see? A little insight so they'll never dim your light Been wrong for too long, this here been so right Did your fears in the rear view right now on the mission Tryna stay the course on this road to redemption Giving up seems tempting, but no need Cause I got you and you got me A little you and I why will get us by Through the storm and the rain I'll be by your side Look alive The best has yet to come Just some words of wisdom Plenty more I know that you've from. been looking yeah. for a breakthrough Trying our best to make through Every day is something new But change gonna come Oh yes it's true Brighter days are straight ahead Follow me won't be misled Just look up don't hang your head And we'll get to the promise Yeah and it may seem like things ain't working out But I know we 